Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to display folder sizes in File Explorer when you're using the Details view. So as you can see right here in this folder, we can see the folders here, but we do not have any sizes next to them. Of course, you could hover over each one and get a size or right click, go to Properties and get the size like so. And then if you sort by size, it's just going to either put them at the top or the bottom. Okay, so to do this, we're going to be using the Windhawk app, which we've used for other videos because this is a nice way to tweak the way Windows works by using what they call mods. So after you install Windhawk, which is free, you'll have your home section, which shows you your installed mods, any featured mods. And then if you go to explore, you could browse through um, suggested mods there too, and then actually search for them. So once you find the mod you like, you just click on details and install, and that's all there is to it. Okay, so the mod we're going to be using is called Better File Sizes in Explorer Details. So if you were to search for this, right here, you'd be able to find it and then click on details and install it. All right, so once it's installed, you could enable it and disable it right here, or you could go into details here enable it and disable it, remove it if you like, you know, get some details about the mod itself. This it kind of shows you what it does here. All right, so for the Windhawk mods, uh, most of the time you'll have a settings section, and this is where you will turn things on and off and make any adjustments. All right, so there's only a couple of settings here. So we could use this IEC terms. So if you want to have it shown in KIB instead of KB, for example, that's totally up to you. Uh, might not be super useful for many people. So the main options here are to calculate folder sizes being disabled, always enabled, or enabled while holding the shift key. So when this is enabled, it can cause a slowdown when you're using File Explorer because it has to calculate it each time. So if you have a lot of folders, it might slow you down. So it might be a good option to use this one here, enabled only when using the shift key, because then you could use it on demand. All right, so let's go back here real quick. You can see we don't have any folder sizes. So we're going to turn this on, to always enabled first. And then anytime you make a change, you need to click on Save Settings. So go back here, let's just refresh. And now you can see it shows the size of the folders as well. And then when you sort, it's still going to keep the folders together because that's the way File Explorer works. It groups, folders, and then files, so you can't have this separated to where you'll have your you know, folders mixed in with the files based on the size. So it's just going to sort the folders within the folder group and then you know keep it along with the rest of your files here, either at the top or the bottom, depending on how you're sorting. I like that. Okay, so now let's change this to enabled while holding the shift key. Let's just refresh here. All right, so now it's turned off except when I use the shift key. So if I hold down shift and then press refresh, you could see they're back and then I let go of shift, refresh again, and now they're gone. So that's a nice option if you only want to do it on demand. And then of course, just come back here and disable it and click on save if you don't want to use it at all. And then of course you could disable the mod itself or remove the mod if you don't want to use it any longer. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download the free Windhawk application. Then, like I said, just do a search for better file sizes in Explorer Details from the Explorer section. Click on Details, install it, and then start turning it off and off as needed. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.